Man, it's been a while, and for good reason. I have had a plethora of issues with editing software, which is why Na the Nashville series has had such a delay as of the day I'm recording this. And I've also been back to the doctors a few times for follow-up visits and stuff like that. And uh, it's just been a kind of a crazy weekend for me. I've been trying to get computers to work, editing software to work all weekend so I could get a video up and I just have not had time to record this and it's finally almost a week later finally time for me to sit down and do this series again and I have been missing out right back at it and in the 5,000 seat arena in Arizona and I kind of wish that EA actually could get the rights or they probably could if they wanted to bother with it but I wish they could get the rights to uh to mullet arena a pretty cool little arena, if I must say so myself. I actually like this. I, it's really grown on me, and I think it's a cool environment to watch a game in. We got the mullet right here. Maybe I should have had my guy do his hair up in a mullet. That's only if we play for Arizona. I've already made a couple of nice saves to start out. Get, get my confidence back underneath me, because it's been so long since I played this. Thank you, computers. I swear to you, I don't know what's been going on with editing software. So I edit in Final Cut Pro, and it's just been acting up like crazy lately. Basically, I'd go to edit a video uh, for, for whatever, for whatever series it would be. I would go to edit a video, and editing would take forever. Every process was super slow. And even there were times where the process would just stop working altogether in the middle of editing. And then, oh, do I get a chance to play the dump in? Not quite. I should get back in the net. But yeah, I mean, I, I would try to ex export a video, and it would not let it export. Uh, I guess it had something to do with uh, Final Cut Pro thinking that a file was missing when it really wasn't. It also significantly doesn't help that I edit off of an external hard drive because, I mean, that's what I record these videos onto. I need something with a lot of free space to record the video part of these videos onto. And I think Final Cut Pro doesn't like that I am recording and putting stuff on separate external hard drives. So basically I had to move everything onto one external hard drive combined all together onto one hard drive, edit it, start a brand new project as well in Final Cut Pro. And it seems to have solved the issue because the Nashville series went up today. Well, we're going to get a brief 24 seconds of 4 on 4 due to a slash by Jordan Kairu. So in trying to figure out a method to all of the madness that is editing video editing software, uh, I have not played this series at all. I have not had a chance to really sit down and play it. Oh my goodness, Perico or Graves. I want to say Perico. He's probably out here somewhere. And now Arizona is on the man advantage for the first time in the game. What in the world is going on here? Look at how slow they are skating. The always dangerous Keller Michelli. Go, oh, but yep, I almost pressed the pass button. Probably a good idea. And still looking for that first career S word. And it could have easily happened against Arizona when we played them in St. Louis earlier in the season. Why wouldn't you make that save just straight up standing up? They'll make a save more complicated than it ever has to be. That's as routine as they get right there. And we're back to even five on five strength. And a good one put on by Bushnevich. I don't know how the puck has not gone. And it, well, now it has. <laughs> the puck has finally gone into the Arizona net. It's Derek Stepan. He was overjoyed. As you saw him celebrate his goal. That was a nice feed in front. He's planted right in front of the net. The camper. I swear to you, any of you Arizona players camp in front of my net, you are getting a goal stick straight to the shins. It will happen. It is a promise. It is a guarantee. Now, in all seriousness, EA Sports, you need to give the goalie player in the game the ability to whack at somebody's shins with their goal stick. I'm only asking this out of a sense of realism. I just want realism in the game. Come on. Schmaltz. Oh, what a save. How's that for realism? Did we get a piece of that with the stick? What was that? Uh, Keller's just cruising. He's just cruising backwards. He could provide a beautiful screen, but he gets out of the way. That helps me. Very helpful for me. Last minute of play in the period. Clayton Keller on his own, which is not necessarily a bad thing. If he has teammates, there's a lot he can do with teammates 
bringing the puck into the attacking zone. More options for the Coyotes. Gunter into the glove. I'm happy to take a face-off, and I hope this is not a face-off of regret. All right, listen to me, Thomas. Don't you make me regret taking this face-off. He won it. Good boy. Well, we looked sharp as attack to begin this game, to begin, to begin that first period. I mean, I'm the only one that hasn't given up a goal. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. All of my shit-talking is going to come back to haunt me. <laughs> what you got, Keller? What you got? You got nothing. Nothing for Perico. Michelli loses it. Schmaltz. Who's going to get it? It's going to be the Blues. We're going to get it back to center. Thomas, that defensive play on our end of the ice, bailing me out. Jersey from the top of the circles. God, that was a dangerous play by Perico. Already flying through seven minutes in the period. Not a whole lot going on. Back and forth turnovers. For both teams, not sure if that will be edited in or edited out. Edit in that save. Everything is a drop pass for the Coyotes right now. They don't like anything they're seeing in terms of breaking the puck out. And they have turned it over once again in the attacking zone. This has just been the entire second period to this point. Turnover after turnover. Hayes slapping it to flex weirdly past Ingram. And now Falk shoots. Block maybe? No, I think that actually got through on that to the goaltender. Krug with Falk. To Verona. Blocked. We've got full pressure. And that'll be a tripping penalty. You had full pressure and you take a tripping penalty. Who's doing this? Jacob Verona. You ruined full pressure, man. <laughs> oh, here we go. I guess I'm about to find out. I'm about to find out, aren't I? We put the Arizona Coyotes on the power play and I was doing all my talking about how I'm the only goalie who hasn't given up a goal in this game. I mean, not necessarily true. In a certain sense, there are two goaltenders for each team on the bench right now that also haven't given up a goal in this game. If you want to... That was wicked passing. And now I have given up a goal in this game. But that's some passing right there. It's always Clayton Keller. It was the last time we played this team. He looks like... <laughs> I don't even know what Keller looks like, but a homeless man would probably do it. That was... Just uh, that was destined to go in the back of the net. Destined to end up in the back of the net. There was nothing I could do. <sighs> oh, why? Why, universe? Why? Why, EA Sports? Do you have to curse me like this? They sent Clayton Keller again to ruin my shutout. I just want answers. Why is it always got to be number nine for the Coyotes? Ruining it. Ruining my evening. Ruining the theme here. I got it. Don't worry. Okay. Krug, he decided to worry instead. Who took this penalty? I think this is going to make it four on four. It is Barrett Hayton. He is a hater. So how long four on four? Oh, five on three? Oh, we were on the power. I am so stupid. I am literally not paying any attention to what's happening in this game. There's no reason for us not to get a goal here at five on three. Can I, I mean, I, can I even come out past center and help this power play out and make it a six on three? With the net empty, would that be a wise decision? I, I, know a, I know a trick or two. What the heck? I do know a trick or two. I know a trick or two. It's this. Trick or treat. Oh, that's bad. What? Smaltz, you suck. You totally missed a wide open net. I gave you that. I totally gave him that. Like they give candy to kids on Halloween. Oh, are you going to win this or am I going to win this? What in the world what kind of momentum was that EA Sports? It's like you tipsy turvy the ice surface I don't know what I was trying to say it just wouldn't come out of my mouth off my tongue correctly but we're just gonna roll with it okay just like the rest of this game we're gonna roll with it Keller trying to take my neck out no shots up high I don't want whiplash I, I, I'd rather get that in a car accident I mean I'd rather not be in a car accident but this game has the potential to become like a car accident if you guys keep giving up good opportunities for the Coyotes that one slapped on. Rebound taken care of. Easy. There it is. This game is going to become a car accident. There it is. My new arch nemesis, Clayton Keller. Can I fight Clayton Keller? Is that an option? Can I do the stick whack to the legs of Clayton Keller? Break both of his legs. He can never play against me ever again. Listen, you're going to be terrified to play against me, son. You score against me one more time. I will, you will never forget it. You will never hear the end of it. Well, the signs right now are just not good. I've given up two goals. I didn't even pay attention in the intermission to how many shots I faced. EA, put that on the animated boards you have. Ooh! Oh! 
Oh, thank you, Perico. I don't know what I was trying to do. I was trying to get up in Smaltz's grill, and he almost got up into mine. Probably a good idea when you're an attendee to, I don't know, tend the net, right? I don't know. I always just considered tendy to be short for chicken tender, which makes me hungry for chicken tenders now. Coach Brashear, can you get chicken tenders out here? I, I want... I want room service, except for this isn't a room, it's a net. Uh, come up with a thing called net service, where they bring out food to the goalie mid-game. I mean, that should seriously be a thing. I think the NHL would appreciate me for that. They could make a lot of money off that. I'll, I tip extra. <laughs> oh, Malkin, sit down. They're going to call a penalty? That was as clean of a hit as they come. Referee, you, you can't appreciate a good hit when you see one. I mean, you would have to tap your stick to a guy that hits you like that. Highly doubt that was charging. <sighs> don't t don't tell me it's Keller. It's not Keller, unless he changed number mid-game. Back door again, and on the power play. Hey, I came into this game wearing glasses of optimism, and they are now glasses of depression. Is it too early for me to blame the tethering system? <laughs> Can I blame the tethering system yet? Can I skate to the bench faster than this? I got this one. Oh, I do! I actually have handled the puck. See, I, my tendencies, they cannot be avoided. I, I have to play the puck. The one positive going for me in this game is that I've actually played the puck. I mean, that's the only thing I got going for me. And we'll get to more four on four due to a cross-checking penalty. And stolen by Shin, we're gonna get a shorthanded two on two rush. Might as well get a goal here. If we wanna give ourselves a chance, we need one. Last thing I need is a Clayton Keller power play goal here. Jersey dropped off the Schmaltz. Well, at least we can handle those. Down low for Keller. Schmaltz. No! Oh, no! Well, they say happiness is a warm gun. And right now, my gun is cold. Very cold indeed. No, really, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed in, in every one of you. I'm, I'm also disappointed in Coach Brashear and his inability to create matchups against Clayton Keller and the first line for the Arizona Coyotes. Saved. I'm glad we could pick that one off at least. We have crossed to Keller. No. No, 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 no. Can I flying poke check that? Oh, that's a penalty. We tripped up Keller with two minutes and ten seconds to go. That's basically the whole game on the power play. Oh, wait. Except I'm pretty sure Arizona will score a backdoor goal within 13 seconds. Okay, note to self. Flying poke check is not circle. You push up and you press square and that's your flying poke check. I think that that's not always been the case, has it? I know that on PlayStation controls, because that's what we're playing this on, square it has been desperation save in the past. I'm just ready to break out all the tools I have in the toolbox if I need to. Step on in shorthanded scores. And that's going to make it a two goal game with a minute to go. Well, apparently the only man that can score for the Blues tonight is Derek Stepan. He notches number three on the season. Can we make a game out of it here? Oh my goodness! Step on! Off the blocker of Ingram gets the hat trick. A lone hat comes in. And it went bar down. We have made a game out of it. I, and apparently Derek Stepan really is the only man that can score for the St. Louis Blues. We might have a game on our hands here. We might have something. All right, Derek Stepan, two shorthanded goals. Do you have a third one in you? I know you've scored three on total tonight. We need another one. Oh, boy. And I got to stop the puck. That's the other important piece. Oh, can you just make it easy, please? It's 23 seconds. Stepan up ahead to saw. Get it back to Stepan. Yeah. It shoots low. Rebound. No one's there to corral the rebound. 16 to go. This might be the game right here. Arizona might just put this game to bed here. Kraus centering feed. Yep, I even knew it was coming this time, and I still didn't make the save. I'm sorry, Derek Stepan, your efforts have gone by the wayside. You could not put the team on your back and carry us to an overtime, and we will drop this one in regulation. Yeah, there's nothing else that needs to really even be said about that game. It is... Yeah, I mean, the numbers speak for themselves. <laughs> hey, Vince, some of us are going to see the Grand Canyon. You know, you guys play another game like that in front of me, and I will toss you off the Grand Canyon. So this is the first time you're going up against our rival Chicago. Expect a tough game against them. Okay, but that aside, Coach Brashear, 
is candy corn the best Halloween candy? And now we play our rival according, well, it is our rival, not just according to Coach Brashear, but we play the Chicago Blackhawks, a 5-12-1 last place team in the league, Chicago Blackhawks. What am I on the bench in an empty United Center for? Someone turn on the lights. Well, the lights haven't been turned on yet as we are in the United Center to play the Chicago Blackhawks. Who else in the United Center? Is Bushnevich, is he wearing a visor? It didn't look like he was wearing a visor. Uh, I would imagine he would be a player that would be forced to wear one with that new rule coming in. And one timer. Oh, beauty save on Athanasiu. Is that who wears number 89? Yep, Athanasiu. And is it? It is a piece of it. A, a literal piece of the puck with the outside of the glove. And I found the thumbnail. St. Louis, do you enjoy what you have? Enjoy it while it lasts. I won't be here for very long. I've already made the save of the game. We haven't even played a full on. Two minutes of the game, and I made the save of the game. Oh my god, the Blackhawks have lost their last 10 games. Could you imagine being on that long of a losing streak? I mean, to be on... Oh, and it's going to go in. I've made two excellent saves. Athanasiu, at the end of it all, though, he gets the best of me. A third time's the charm for Athanasiu. I got quite a, a good bit of that backdoor play to Athanasiu. Unfortunately, I just rejected it right back to him. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that Max Domi? Does that say Domi and he's wearing 19? You're wearing 19 in Chicago. I know Taves has, has not retired yet and he just left the organization, but my god, it's too soon, man. And it is not soon enough for, who is this, 89 for our team, that's Bushnevich. So we've got an 89 for both teams scoring the goals tonight. Maybe I should just switch to number 89 and I can score a goal too. Nope, I'm stuck wearing the number 80. I have to wear it, it's my number. And you know what, it's also dawned on me recently as well that um, Kevleniex, if I'm saying his last name correctly, unfortunately the guy that sadly passed away in that fireworks accident the columbus blue jackets netminder so if i ever end up playing for columbus and i've already chosen the number 80 uh i guess we can just view it in tribute to kivliniex but um again i don't know if i'm even saying the last name correctly i could be totally butchering that and it's not on purpose well we have quickly forged ourselves to a nice two goal lead it could be more or one goal lead i'm sorry it could be more it could be a two goal lead had I just not rejected the puck directly back to Athanasiu in the way that I did earlier in the game. Here we go, another drive in the zone. Uh, another bad rebound, and it, that's something that we seriously need to get under control is, is the rebound control. Don't understand how you have such a difficult time just being able to simply catch the puck when it is shot right into your glove. And, and Max Domi in Chicago feels like, oh, feels like beauty. That's what that feels like. Oh, that's a nice rebound save for me. I gotta make another one because the Hawks have not got full pressure yet, but it certainly feels that way. It's it's inevitable. It's coming. They play it all the way back to Peter Mrazek. Max Domi was a Blackhawk though in real life, wasn't he? I mean, it just it, I, it that sounds right, but it also sounds a bit weird if that makes sense. Like his tenure in Chicago was very short lived, and I rarely watched games with him as a Blackhawk, so just feels kind of weird. I don't know. But I, I do know that he also played for the Dallas Stars for a brief stint. He also played here in Carolina for a very brief stint, but had an amazing uh, multi-goal game in Game 7 against the Boston Bruins in order to advance to the second round of the playoffs that year. Fun fact, I was actually at that game. Oh my goodness, Robert Thomas. He's going to go and take the first penalty of the entire game. Oh God, it, it, it's like a rave in here. They got the Darude Sandstorm. They got the light show on the ice surface. I don't know if I, should I get out my glow sticks? The aforementioned Domi. Center feed. Yep. Rebound, control, beauty. Save, beauty. Oh no, it was not. It didn't cross the goal line. Oh, come on. And it is Max Domi wearing number 19. God, my rebound control is, it is a different level. It is a very 
poor level of rebound control. I have that ability to make that save, but it's just a, a huge question mark after that first save where the puck's going to go. <laughs> we just It's a mystery to me. I mean, you never know. The puck might end up in my equipment, but it might also end up in the back of the net. I just, I don't understand how you have rebound control as poorly as mine. Now, it's not going to matter now because it's the end of the period. So you make a save, rebound control really doesn't matter now with the horn sounding to end period one. Well, Coach Bashir, I ain't a liar. I am a truther. And the truth is that this rebound control is costing me right now. I need to work on that throughout the whole season. There's no chance I can be a number one goaltender with the rebound control that I have. We're in the zone now, across feed. It's going to bounce off of Mrazik's head and end up on the stick of Kairu. So we still maintain possession. And speaking of rebound control, Mrazik has none on that sequence. Although the Hawks defense in front of him bailed him out. That's what I haven't gotten. I haven't gotten the help of my defense, my teammates. They're not doing their job. Hey, you punch that clock to clock in for the work day here in St. Louis. You need to be ready to perform. I feel like I could be performing admirably. I, I really could be. Without, without the rebound control of a trampoline, I could be performing very beautifully tonight. The first career shutout, it will come. It's on the way. It just won't happen the way that we're playing right now. We need to get beyond 70-something overall. I mean, where's the defense? I want you to watch Max Domi. There is not a soul on this planet covering him as he slides to the back door. Where's the defenseman? He's just hanging around like this is beer league. Look at, watch Graves. Watch Ryan Graves. He just stands there. Watch him just standing there. He's just watching that play happen. Now I'm a little bit nervous. Are we on the hook for an early pull in this game? If I give up another two goals, I think four goals against, you're not getting pulled. But five? I think I have a short leash at five. Definitely getting pulled if I give up six. Now how do I, how do, how do I hug the post this year? That's definitely not it. That is not it. Whatever that was, don't do that unless you absolutely need to bail yourself out. No, I just need to bail my defenseman out. Time after time after time. We, we did get lit up against the Coyotes in that last game. That's really going to alter the save percentage on the whole season. That game against Arizona. A lot of that was power plays. A lot of that was giving Arizona way too many power plays, which we haven't had as much of a problem with against Chicago. Okay, so there's something I really... I want to break away. There's something I really want to try out. And it is these, apparently there's these new desperation animations. Look at this. Look at that. He's wild. He's wet and wild out here. I'm going after it. I'm totally going after it if I have to get desperate. I am going to, I'm going to hog the puck. Odd rebound. into the, Good rebound control into the corner. That's how you control the rebounds. Behind the backdrop pass. Falk. Mrazic kicks it out. Kicks out the rebound. He's flailing, flailing, flailing around in the crease. I can't get the word flailing out of my mouth right now. Hag. Back door? Nope, not even a shot. And already just blown right through the second period of play. Three and a half to go. And scoring, Jordan Cairo. Yeah, well, I'm getting goal support. I am getting that. I'm not getting defensive support, but I am getting the goal support. This could be a very high scoring affair. Uh, now, I didn't sign up for a high scoring affair, and, I, and neither did Coach Brashear, but you know what? We're both going to just have to learn how to live with it. We're in the same boat together, right? If we can win the faceoff, we'll be the first team to have full pressure. There's your difference in shots in this period as well. Just 12 shots to, for St. Louis to one. And we do now have full pressure. And it will be Hag that will be giving it away into the corner where it's just never going to be dumped in hard enough for me to be, to be able to play the puck this year. I think EA has deliberately taken that ability away from me so I can't have any fun. Well, this is it. Final period to play. Tie game. Can't allow any more goals. That's one way to prevent a goal. Sit on it. Oh, what a save. What a dandy save. Here's a beautiful view from inside the net of that. Snagged it out of the air. Get out of here. Another one. They gave me three looks at this. And you see Jonathan Taves. I mean, Max Tomey crashing the net. Athens see you again at it. And we have a defensive zone faceoff. And the Hawks, actually, well, they didn't win it. It looked like they were at first. It's just a one-man attack, isn't it? Nope, Hall has it. Hall lost it. I lost track of the puck. Yeah, I think this year you can forget about a goalie goal. Probably not going to happen because they did, the AI just doesn't have enough power on their dumping attempts. What the frick was that? What was that? That was so not necessary, and yet that was pretty cool. I just made a routine save look way more phenomenal than it ever should have looked. And it's just simply because... What is this? It's simply because I just kicked at it. 
a Martin Brodeur style or more Dominic Hoshik, I guess. This is definitely more Hoshik than it is Brodeur. I'm just a man out here having fun in the goal crease any way I can. Even if it does give my coach and teammates a heart attack, my, someone's got a concussion. It might be Bushnevich. Vinny on Vinny. One timer, and it does go in. We have got to do a better job of honestly cutting down these backdoor feeds. I'm having to play the short side. I have to. I have to respect the short side as the goaltender. I cannot cheat to that one timer. I think the only thing I might do is play my depth off a little bit, but I mean, what am I going to do? Where's my defensive help? Is it Graves again? He's not even playing the backdoor pass. You saw the glove. I gave an honest attempt at it. My guy Annette gave an honest attempt at a save. There's just nothing you can do when it's that far across the rink, backdoor play. I mean, at this point, the only thing you can really do, I guess, is desperation. But what is this going to do? This isn't going to help me. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't have a save in my back pocket for that situation. I need my defenseman to actually be defenseman. It's the curse of Ryan Graves. <laughs> That's what this is. I've been cursed to play with Ryan Graves again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shallow my depth off when they have a potential backdoor pass. Like they do now. I see. There we go. Anticipation factor. Oh, it's in front. And they stop. Uh, there's just no stopping this. There is just, there's no stopping this right now. I legitimately thought I had a save on this. You see, I'm playing the situation. I know they're going to pass up for a one-timer. They hit it. And they hit the back of the net. What is this angle? This doesn't help anybody. This, this, is, this is what it's like to be on the ceiling of the United Center. I mean, come on. What was that last camera angle, EA? Nobody sits up there. I swear, one more backdoor one-timer. I'm done. I'm just, I'm going all out. I am going all out with my saves. I've given up five goals at this point. What more, what more is six total goals against on the night? A goalie pull. That's about the only thing it will bring me. A, a goalie pull will be relief. I mean, I'm, I want to try one of these desperation saves out. I really do. Oh, Coffer, you've been robbed. Our defense is so bad. Not only can we not defend the back door, they're getting dangled one on two, getting dangled. This is Justin Falk and Tori Krug. I mean, these are NHL, definitely NHL caliber, top four defensive pairing defensemen. And then they're getting dangled by JT Confer. I made this excellent save. Bailed you guys out. It's about, the, it's about the only time anyone on St. Louis has bailed somebody out tonight. One more bad play. One more breakdown. And after this game, I'm, I'm hopping right into the GM's office. And I'm asking for a trade. Murphy handed off the hall. Drop for Domi. And they, he couldn't get the full handle on the puck. But had he gotten full handle, he probably would have ended up putting it in the back of the net. Well, we will be losers in this one. The question is by how much. Murphy shot, rebound, put it in the corner, just end the game. Just end the game right here. There's nothing that can be done with this team right now. There, with this overall rating that we are, our rating is way too low for me to be able to do anything with the defense that's in front of me. The only thing that I can do is alter sliders. So that might be something that we play with because I'm not getting any help. And I'm starting to not see enough shots. I saw 17 total shots. But there were some pretty good saves in those 17 shots face, though. That was a huge game. Way to shut the door on those guys, Vince. <laughs> Never doubt me, coach. You can call me the mailman. Because I always deliver. That's, that is more cheese than, a, than, than the state of Wisconsin.